Good Monday morning, Reggie students. I have Mr. Karlowitz, one of our amazing physics teachers here with us, and he was going to talk to us, I think, a little bit about social distancing. Mr. Karlowitz. Hello, Ms. Friedman. It's great to see you. Great to see you. Uh, yes, I have a, um, a little demonstration, being a science teacher, a uh, demonstration that helps teach about the importance of social distancing. What do you think about that? I think it's pretty cool. You ready, Paulina? Okay. Well, um, well, here's how my demonstration works. I've got a, I've got a cup here. And this is gonna represent your body, okay? I also have some dice. Uh, I use dice because they represent probability, which is what social distancing is all about. This hand is also gonna represent another person that just became infected, of course, and they're gonna stand right next to you. And do you know what happens when an infected individual stands too close to your body? What happens? Do you think you get it? I think you get infected. I don't know. Oh, you don't know? <gasps> well, it's gone from this hand, and guess what? It is now in your body. Now, I know this is for a demonstration, so let me be certain to do that again, okay? I'm going to stand right next to you. And once you know it, it's right under the cup. Now, can you think of anything that might help us in this situation? Are we supposed to? Yeah, yeah, what do you think will help us? Oh, oh what would help us to stand so close? Yeah. I think what if we practice social distancing? Yes, yes, not stand so close by practicing social distancing. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, that was a great idea. Now, um, you know, this person's going to go ahead and get infected again, and they're going to stand over here. Right? Yeah. And over time, maybe they feel better. But let's go see how your body's doing over here. Uh, you get to have friends over because the virus is gone. Isn't that amazing? And you can bring all your friends and your family and your doctors and your teachers and everybody and have a great big party because I'm going to be very excited to see all, all of you. And uh, well, especially if we practice the, the old, uh, you know, the saying about apples and doctors and making them stay away. Do you know what the rhyme I'm talking about? <laughs> I, I know the rhyme. Do you know the rhyme? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Why don't you tell us? Doctor, master. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. That wait, that's this is a lemon though. <laughs> Where did that come from? I, I was I was gonna take a bite out of the apple to show that it was real, but now it's a lemon. Yeah, I'll I'll do for the kids though. What is that? that? It's your apple. We did it. I've got an apple and I'm gonna have exactly one of these a day and it's gonna keep the doctor away. What do you think? That's pretty cool. That's the doctor the way. Do you, do you know about social distancing now? I do, do you? That's pretty cool. So we gotta keep, we gotta keep doing it. Yeah, you got to practice your social distancing and eat healthy. How did that was my message. That was my my message for all of you. That's how, wonderful. How did you do the magic trick? Oh, it wasn't a magic trick. It was a demonstration. I really anyway, that's all I've got for you, Ms. Friedman. I'm gonna keep talking with, with my mouth full. Okay. Oh my goodness. On that note, we have to go because yeah, while yeah. he is amazing, it doesn't seem like it's Mr. Manners if he does that. So great to see you all. Um, please keep practicing your social distancing and thanks, Mr. Karlowitz.